Hello everybody, welcome back to Silent Plays. Just ignore them. So we had some interesting dialogue there earlier. I better see how she's doing. I just hope Bree will be safe in here. How'd you get the glass door to open? Again, I'm sorry about before. Honestly, didn't mean for any of that to happen. It's okay, Mark, really. I'm glad someone told me the truth, and when I find that bill, I'm gonna break his legs and film it. Please don't break mine, I need them to walk. Huh, you're funny, Mark. No, I won't break yours. Since you're cute, I'll let you away I'll let you get away with it. Uh thanks, I guess. So where are you from, Bray? You have a strange accent, and so do you. I'm not going all into details, but where I'm from it's a place called in place call England. So why are you here in the States? Let's just say holiday gone wrong. So why are you heading upstate for? A holiday? More like trying to get away from home. Too many monsters back home, eh? Yeah, you can say that again. Hey, you really believe in monsters, don't you? I wish I didn't. But it's hard not to when you see them. Mark, are you sure you're not on medication? Oh, crack the crazy jokes now. Look, if I see one, I'll believe you. I hope you never do. Who are you going to call, by the way? Oh, just a friend. What's her name? Ah, oh, Mary. And how do you know it was a girl? It's always about a girl. <laughs> she works at a diner in my hometown. Well, you can use my cell phone if you like. Just keep it short. Thanks, I will. Hello, this is Angie speaking. Hey, this is Mark. Oh, the guy in the brown coat. Yeah, that's me. Can I speak to Mary, please? Sorry, Mark. She's gone home already. Oh, that's okay. I'll try again tomorrow. So how'd it go? She wasn't there. Hey, Mark. Do you love her? I don't know. What? Why is that a major thing about the plot? Hmm. No, she's just a friend. I'll leave you to it, Mark. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that woman. <laughs> anyway. What? Your jumper cables are missing, aren't they? Bill, he took my car battery. Well, my guess he's trying to keep us from leaving, the fucking bastard. This game suddenly had a lot more fucking angrier dialogue. I couldn't help but notice. I still need to find his goddamn I need his password. So where the hell am I going to find a car battery? Well, none of this is any different. I gotta use the coals for something, probably. Let's go back into my apartment. Mm -hmm. Better not wake her, but I really wish she wouldn't fall asleep naked. 
It's such a distraction. <laughs> Huh, her lighter might come in useful. I hope she doesn't wake up or I'll look just as bad as Bill. Now, what do I need a lighter for? Fucking bastard. Alright. What would I need a lighter for? Think critically, man. Now Bill's in his fucking private study right now. Maybe I can use this to draw Bill out of hiding. I need something... Yeah, all right. So I see where this is going. Makes a lot of sense, then. <coughs> I didn't read any of that. <coughs> What's that smell? That boy better not have started that fireplace up. He'll burn the whole motel down. There, this should draw him out of hiding. I love how I don't bump into him at all, though. Can't do anything with it. Bullshit! Why can't I go in it? Where am I supposed to fucking go then if I already did the fucking the fuel thing? What the fuck? Well, I can't go back in there. The fuck do I go then? Oh, maybe it's in the washing machine for whatever reason. Uh, Alright. And we'll charge the car battery using this thing. Put the fucking battery in the truck and let's get the fuck out. Leave Bill to his own devices. Fucking creepy Bill. Alright. Just gotta work and wake up Bria and get the hell out of here. Sounds like a plan, man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, breathe the truck's fixed. We should get the hell we should get out of here now. Twelve channels and nothing but porn and antiques. Variety much. And it's not even good porn either. <laughs> I'd be more worried about getting out of here. Bill will be looking for us soon. Why are we leaving so early? I'll explain later. Right now we need to go. Okay, I'll pack my things. Hello in there, lovely couple. Shit, it's Bill. Come on out so we can discuss these problems that you've caused. Bree, just pack your things and wait for me. I'm gonna give the signal, make a break for the truck, and don't stop for anything. Okay. Well, son, you seem to be causing me a lot of problems, but don't you worry. Since my buddy Ted gets here, we'll take care of you. And that pretty girl you got there, too. We're leaving, Bill, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. See, now, that's where I don't understand. How are you going to leave while I have a gun and your truck's battery? But I see you have taken one of those from me. I'm warning you now, Bill. Let us go, and I promise you'll live. You'll let me live. I love your chances, son. Mark, what's going on? Ah, oh, there you are, you pretty little thing. Ready to have some fun? Last chance, Bill. Move an inch, son, and I'll shoot her instead. Mark, don't. Dad? Huh? Dad? 
the fuck is that? I'll explain later. Bree, we have to go. What the fuck? Okay. I didn't expect this to happen. Any of it to happen. Bree now knows the truth. What do I do? I can't keep her with me. Can I? Okay, Mark, start explaining. What's to explain? You just seen it all. You know what I mean, Dad. Oh, that's... That's nothing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I just watched a guy get eaten by a fucking creature. And you call it Dad? Speak, or I'll fucking stab you. Wow, so persistent and violent. Don't test me. Okay. Yes. He is... Or should say was my father. So, why don't you look like that then? Because I'm not dead. Okay, no more. But I want to know, you can't just you can't just give me that without an explanation. Please, Mark, tell me. Why does you want to know so much about me and my past? Look, if you want to know, I can't tell you. Why? Because I will show you. I have fallen too deep with this girl. She knows way too much. She wants to know about you. About all of you. Don't worry. I promise. You will get to meet her soon. So, are you going to say anything? Mark? Huh? Oh, no. Okay, Mark, where are we going? To somewhere that people shouldn't go. Oh, and where's that, New York? What's wrong with the Big Apple? Rotten, is it? It's the place where monsters are born. Monsters are born there. Yes. So why are we going to a place where we could very likely die? There's also a guy there that can help me. And he can explain it all to you much better than I could. And just who is this guy? His name's Dan. Dan, huh? So what's he like? I don't know, never met him. Okay, so we're gonna meet a guy you have never met to learn about monsters. Well, I can just drop you off when we get to Vegas. No way, I want answers. Since you dragged me through all that shit. Well, it's your funeral. Hey, Mark. How did your father die? Oh, he... He killed himself. Sorry, Mark. If it helps, my old man died when I was young. What happened to him? Well, he owed some guys money. He was a big gambler. He sold everything he owned to pay it back. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. He was shot dead in front of me. What happened to you? How come they didn't shoot you? I hid in the old fireplace in the living room. And they didn't see you? I hid in my dad's black jacket. I'm sorry, I must have been very traumatizing for you. Hey, shit happens and there's nothing you can do about it. That's a little... You're way too fucking chill for a normal human being, lady. Yeah, it does, but always for a reason. We better get going. Our plane will leave in 12 hours. Here, my shout for the drinks. You sure? I don't mind paying. Nah, it's cool. Saves you an excuse to take me to bed. You seem like a really open woman. Well, you get used and abused your whole life. What's there to hide? Fair enough. We made it to Vegas Airport. I knew they were following me. But Bree... There's so much to her I don't understand. How we can be so similar yet so different. Maybe this is a mistake. I will have to decide what to do with her once we see Dave. Comfy Mark? Huh? Oh yeah, Sperry. How did you manage to get business class? Are you kidding? I'm a woman, that's how. Okay, I get the picture. So, tell me, Mark. When you mentioned that thing in the bar about your dad, yes? Why did you lie to me? What do you mean? I never lied to you. What do you take me for? Some kind of twat? No, I don't. Mark, I know when someone is talking bullshit. How did your father die? Mark, no more lies. Okay, but I expect the same from you. Okay, sure. My father died because of me. I killed him. 
You killed him? I came from school one day. I heard screaming coming from upstairs. It peeked into Mom's room, and I saw him beat her again. I hated him beating Mom. I prayed for him to stop, but they were getting worse. So after I seen that monster do what he did, I went to the kitchen, grabbed Dad's gun, hitting it in the drawer. I shot him through the neck. Never meant to kill him, I just wanted him to stop. Mark, I'm not that great on sympathy, but it's not your fault. Must have been the only way. No, it is. I could have called the cops. Mom planted a knife on him to make it look like he was trying to kill me. I'm sorry, Mark. I shouldn't have asked. Look, forget it, okay? It was good to get it off my chest. Okay, I'm going to use the lav. Huh? The bathroom, Mark. Oh, you want me to come with you just in case something happens? Mark, you can join the Mile High Club next time. That's not what I meant. Yeah, sure you didn't. I'll be back soon. Sure you will. Well, I'm going to save right here and now. So I got duct tape, I got smokes, and I got a lighter. So we're going to make a new save. I'm going to call it Give Tape. And we're going to cut the episode here, folks. Uh, a lot of shit just happened right there, and it seems like this game's a lot deeper than originally put. I thought it was going to go a different turn, but apparently there's a lot of other stuff that they never even exposed about the story and shit. So uh, we'll, we'll get into that one later then, I suppose. But uh, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next part.